for false voters accused in Georgian election subversion case. Most of legal theories made by lawyers on Friday fell straight when arguments were held in federal court earlier this year. 2020 fake voters and former president of Georgian Republican Party David Schaefer's lawyers on Friday's hearing said the indictment should be rejected because there was nothing illegal about voters' plan for false voters. Lawyers held most of same arguments at federal court hearing when they tried to carry Fulton district cases to federal system in September. However, theories did not carry day federal judge who supervised these processes, did not embrace any of his theories and decided that criminal cases should remain in state court. For example, on Friday, Schaefer lawyer Holly Pearson claimed that there was no legally recognized voter legally recognized in Secure Port History Elon, which is a date determined by federal law when states had to approve results of presidency. He certified history of Secure Port. However, Pearson argued there was no legal voter at that time because there was an ongoing case opened by Trump and challenging results. He said voters were and expected to see if the election results were reversed in Trump case. If they don't meet the history of safe harbor, they are all conditional voters. Pierre Pearson said the same arguments held federal hearing in September and forced case to carry case to federal court. Pearson is doing these arguments because cases in state court where Judge of Fulton Supreme Court of Fulton, Scott McAfee controlled case and reject charges if indictment does not comply with state laws.